Hi, this is Annapolis Mayor Josh Cohen with your somewhat weekly video update for November 10th, 2010. And in this video, I want to share three updates. Market House, City Dock Planning, and the rollout of the city's new bus system. With the Market House, just a brief recap uh, to bring everyone up to date. The city has entered into an agreement with a firm called Gone to Market, which uh, is a new firm. It, it, its, its principals are a man named Laird Jackson, who grew up outside of Annapolis and has a tremendous track record uh, developing and operating public markets, and the construction guy, uh, Drew Scallon. Uh, I signed a memorandum of understanding with Gone to Market a few weeks ago. Uh, last week, I signed a pre-development agreement with them. And under the terms of the pre-development agreement, which run through January 1st, Gone to Market will, in effect, act as the city's agent, overseeing all of the pre-development architectural designs, the engineering, uh, the permitting. Uh, and a, a key component of this process is the public and public input. And to that end, uh, two nights ago, on Monday, November 8th, uh, gone to market, met with the city's economic matters committee, first of all, to present the latest plans with members of the council and respond to questions from the council. And then uh, Lair and his team went down to the market house and gave the same presentation to the public at large and took questions from the public, got feedback, what they think will work, what they have concerns about. And then next week, on Monday, November 15th, Lair is going to do a follow-up presentation with the City Council and the public uh, if there are any revisions or tweaks or changes in response to the public feedback. Uh, he'll present those. And then shortly thereafter, uh, they're going to be submitting for permit approvals. And the timeline that we are uh, aiming for, which is very aggressive, is to close down the market shortly after New Year's and then do about three months, we're anticipating, of construction fixing the HVAC, uh, rearranging the interior layout, uh, fitting it out, getting the tenants in there, and then reopening uh, in the first week in April. So that's a brief update with, uh, on the Market House. Related to the Market House is the city's city dot planning process. Uh, and just as the Market House is the uh, centerpiece for the city dock area, city dock itself is the heart of our city. And uh, even though we're blessed with a beautiful city dock, uh, historic waterfront, um, I think most people would agree that we're just not making the best use of this prime piece of real estate, uh, what I call the horseshoe, from Susan Campbell Park at the end of city dock up, including the market house, and then around the other side of city dock up to the Eastport Bridge. So to help the city and the city council uh, make the best decisions on a variety of things, whether it's leasing slips, uh, developing public uh, property, zoning private property. Uh, I've appointed, or Planning and Zoning has appointed, a City Dock Advisory Committee, a group of 25 citizens chaired by former Baltimore Mayor Kurt Schmoke. And I'm thrilled that uh, Kurt, which he likes to be addressed as, uh, is offering his time to shepherd this process through. Even though he's associated with Baltimore, he's lived for the past several years just outside of Annapolis, down towards the Runnel on the Bay. Uh, so he loves Annapolis, but he's somebody who uh, does not have his own agenda. He's somebody who I believe will be able to, as chair, uh, bring the different competing interests together and foster a consensus. And the main thing I'm looking for, first and foremost, is an overall vision, guiding principles, what role should the city dock area really play, and uh, like I said before, what are the guiding principles that the city council should keep in mind when we're making decisions about any number of things in the city dock area. Uh, planning and zoning has brought in the Urban Land Institute. Uh, they uh, held a roundtable discussion in city council chambers last night. They're going to be uh, presenting some, uh, I guess, recommendations uh, this evening in city council chambers. Uh, that will be televised and it will be available on the city's website uh, starting probably tomorrow. 
and the, and the Urban Land Institute is just one of several outside experts that the city is bringing in through the course of this year-long planning process so that the local planning commission or planning committee uh, can really get the benefit of the best national expertise uh, as they make recommendations for our city dock, which is a national treasure. So that's the city dock update. The third update is the rollout, the long-awaited rollout of Annapolis Transit's new arterial route system, which was rolled out uh, this past Saturday, November 6th. Uh, there was a lot happening that day. There was the Maritime Republic of East Port's tug of war. There was the inaugural Annapolis Food and Wine Festival, which brought many, many people in town. And it was a beautiful fall day. And uh, there are some glitches that we're continuing to work out. But overall, and I rode the bus on uh, Monday, and I talked with a number of the riders. Overall, uh, the new rollout is working very well, and it's accomplishing its primary goal, which is to increase the on-time performance as well as shorten the time it takes to get around town on the bus system. The city has a, a number of brochures with the new bus routes. They're available at every bus shelter. It shows the, uh, the new routes right there, as well as the downtown navy blue shuttle on this part. It's available in the bus shelters, in the buses, at City Hall, as well as on the city website. And uh, our buses, if you have not ridden them lately, uh, we've got a bunch of new trolleys that we're leasing from Ocean City. You may notice them around town. They're, they're blue, but instead of wood paneling, they have white trim. Uh, but we also have our regular buses, and uh, our drivers do an excellent job. And uh, I'm confident that Richard Newell, the new director, is really the person we need to transform our trans transportation department and make it the best run transit system in the state. I also want to give a shout out to Rhonda Wardlaw and Ian Banks, uh, who really did a tremendous amount of work uh, getting the rollout of this uh, new bus system uh, to work and to get the information out. And every rider I talked to, even, even if they still had questions about how the new bus system worked, they were aware, they knew what was going on, uh, and that was the result of a lot of people. But uh, Rhonda Wardlaw and Ian Banks really helped uh, with the public uh, communication of this. So that's the update a little long this week. Uh, Market House is moving forward. The City Dock Advisory Committee is just beginning. Uh, but already the Urban Land Institute is coming in to advise them, and the new rollout of the city's bus routes uh, is working well after only a few short days. As always, you can reach me uh, in the mayor's office at 410-263-7997. You can email mayor at annapolis.gov. Thank you for watching.